Whoo! All right, this is a question that I often get, and we see this on the scale. When somebody jumps on the scale and they see that their body fat is higher, like into the high 30s and into the 40s, but then their visceral fat is low. And you would think that if somebody has a high body fat, that naturally their visceral fat would be high as well. But in today's video, I'm gonna tell you the reasons why somebody might have high fat, but low visceral fat, and the main difference between the two, which is body fat is just below the skin, so it's subcutaneous, whereas visceral is deep into your vital organs, such as your liver, even around your heart and your lungs. Now, body fat can easily be broken down because it's just right there. This is kind of what I call like the new fat, right? It's your love handles. But visceral fat, once it gets into your vital organs, your body doesn't want a ton of fat around the heart, around the liver, around the lungs. And so that's stuff that got caked on over time. So when somebody comes to me with a high body fat but a low visceral fat, they're usually younger. And the reason why is that younger people have what I call new fat, right? This fat hasn't had enough time to sit in their system due to inactivity, due to poor lifestyle changes, and probably due to drinking, but I think it's coming from the Starbucks. But younger people, you gotta think about it, they're still developing. So they, for when it comes to females, their hormones are like, peaking. So with the high hormones such as estrogen, their body's able to metabolize fat a lot faster. Their metabolism in general is a lot higher and they're still in a phase of putting on more muscle mass. So as you get older, your hormones drop, your metabolism drops, and naturally your body wants to decrease the amount of muscle with age. And so somebody that is older, let's say like 40 plus, and they've all of a sudden picked up on bad habits such as took on a desk job, stopped working out, started eating more, stopped sleeping less. So what ends up happening is that body fat then gets accumulated into the body and with all those poor lifestyle habits, it then gets pushed and forced into the vital organs and gets stored as visceral fat. Whereas somebody that's younger, they're still young, they're still vital, they're probably still moving like if they're 17, 18 and they're eating exactly like their you know, 45 year old mother. But the difference between the two is the 17, 18 year old is moving around, going to classes, visiting friends, going to the mall, whatever it is that they do. Whereas our 45 year old mother might work from home and then just stay at home and like cook and clean and get the house ready for the next day, watch TV, et cetera, et cetera, never move. And they've got bad hormones, this person's got fresh new hormones, so this new fat could eventually form into visceral fat, but as you get older, the higher your body fat becomes, the more likely it's going to get put into visceral fat. So to answer the question, why would somebody have a high body fat but a low visceral fat, more than likely it's due to age, right? They just haven't had enough time for that subcutaneous fat to get put into visceral fat. It's so rare that I get a 18, 19, or 20 year old onto the in-body scale and see that they have a 19, 20, or 21% visceral fat. They'll have a 38, 39, 45% body fat, but their visceral fat is still going to be in that healthy range. Now, if I took a 45 or a 55 year old male or female and I jumped them onto the scale, they're gonna have not only a high body fat, but they're also going to have a high visceral fat. Now, the high body fat, obviously you don't want that. It doesn't look good, it doesn't feel good, it weighs down onto your body, but that visceral fat, as soon as it creeps up to 10 plus percentage, that's when you need to start focusing on your health. You gotta understand that health is wealth, and the higher that visceral fat goes, the higher the degree that you're going to have some sort of health condition. And I'll tell you this, Every guy, so primarily men, have higher visceral fats into the 20s. Every male that is 50 plus that I've ever put onto a body fat scale, now it didn't happen right away, and it didn't happen under my watch, but the majority of them that had this high visceral fat had some sort of health condition within the next five to eight years. So that's the lifespan. That's like the direct correlation is this high visceral fat to an immediate health concern. So 
if you have the opportunity right now to change that body fat by getting more active, by working out and making smarter food choices, then you're going to decrease your body fat, which is then never going to get converted into that visceral fat, where now it goes from just like looking and feeling good to actually worrying about your health. So guys, take care of yourself, get focused right now, get in the gym, and we'll see you on the next video.